Confidence, cooperation and responsibility were the key messages at a news conference after the closing ceremony. Premier Wen Jiabao and other ASEAN member leaders say they're looking forward to turning the words of their joint statement into reality. Wang Mengmeng reports. With the conclusion of the vision part of the ASEAN summit, leaders from the two continents agree it's time to act. The question is how. The Chinese Premier identified confidence as a key to coping with the global financial turmoil. Confidence means that all countries, especially the developed ones, need to speedily take decisive measures to stabilize the financial markets so as to restore public confidence. Wen Jiabao says China's top priority is to try to expand domestic demand, but it will take time for stimulus measures to feed through into faster growth. The other three coordinators, the EU, Brunei and France all acknowledge the significance of the summit and promise closer partnership among members. Brunei President Sultan Hassan El Bokia says the Asia-Europe meeting provides a platform to also enhance regional cooperation among ASEAN countries. EU Commission President José Manuel Barroso warns that a financial crisis must not become an excuse for not dealing with climate change. He says larger threats will come unless all countries take effective actions to tackle climate change. French President Nicolas Sarkozy explained why he considered the summit another great event after the Beijing Olympic Games. We discussed nearly all of the topics concerning the two continents, including the most difficult ones. Sarkozy says China, India, South Korea and Indonesia will play a major role at next month's G20 summit. Premier Wen Jiabao promises China will actively take part in the Washington summit and discuss the financial crisis in a pragmatic and cooperative manner. And the seventh summit of the Asia-Europe meeting has issued a chair's statement agreeing to promote political dialogue, advance economic cooperation, drive sustainable development and further social and cultural exchanges. Here's a closer look. The statement says Asian and European leaders reaffirm their commitment to strengthening multilateralism and the multilateral international system with the United Nations at its center based on international law. The leaders condemn terrorism and reaffirm their commitment to take practical steps to prevent and combat terrorism with reference to the United Nations global counterterrorism strategy. On economic cooperation, the statement says the international community should jointly overcome the financial crisis through enhanced cooperation. Leaders reaffirm the importance of an open, fair, rule-based and stable multilateral trading system within the World Trade Organization to achieve economic growth and development and to reduce global disparities and trade imbalances. Leaders said each country has the primary responsibility for its own development and that national development needs to be supported by an enabling international economic environment. They agreed on the need to enhance cooperation among ASEAN partners in innovation, science and technology to narrow the digital divide and ensure sustainable development. The chair statement also speaks of sustainable development. Leaders say they held extensive discussions on the Millennium Development Goals as well as sustainable development targets agreed in Johannesburg. They expressed support for strengthened international cooperation on climate change and they said there was a need to focus on development needs and environmental sustainability in the energy sector. Leaders unanimously agreed to issue the Beijing Declaration on Sustainable Development. Leaders reaffirmed respect for cultural diversity and the need to protect the cultural heritage and advocated mutual understanding, tolerance, respect and peaceful coexistence among different social systems, development paths and cultures. The statement also underlines the future roles of the meeting, reaffirming the importance of developing effective ways of communication within ASEAN members to support cooperation in the near future. 
Asian and European leaders have wrapped up their Beijing summit, promising swift, responsive measures to deal with the financial meltdown and to promote global economic growth. During the two-day meeting, they also talked about several other pressing global issues. Liu Ying reports. Premier Wen Jiabao says the summit has achieved its planned target and reached consensus on a number of issues and cooperation proposals. The Premier says the summit put international financial issue on top of its agenda. ASEAN members have pledged to take swift responsive measures to promote global economic growth. These outcomes demonstrate the willingness and resolution of the respective parties to overcome the crisis through international cooperation. They will help step up information sharing, strengthen market confidence, stabilize financial status and improve supervision mechanisms. The outcomes will provide a solid safeguard for realizing stable and healthy development of the Asian, European and world economies. Other major concerns are food security and disaster relief cooperation. SM members pledge to adopt a comprehensive, medium and long-term measures jointly to safeguard food security. We will continue to provide aid to disaster hit nations and to conduct disaster management and reconstruction cooperation. The two-day summit has also seen consensus built on other issues like climate change, energy security, and cross-cultural dialogue. As the members represent three-fifths of the world's population and produce half of the global GDP, joint action is crucial in addressing the global financial crisis and economic downturn. The consensus reached in Beijing will certainly help pave the way for the international summit next month in Washington. Liu Ying, Liu Xiaonong, CCTV, the Great Hall of the People.